The final episode starts in the past, with Yeon Seok playing some golf with his wife and friends and the deacons of the church. When they get asked about if they started giving their daughter language lessons for her study abroad, his wife plays it off saying she's a little too young for that. Won Seok's wife is actually worried about their kids falling behind in their studies, but Won Seok stops her, saying that she's embarrassing them in front of company. But then the deacons mention something else, and the pastor didn't come to the church the other day, and they're worried about him going missing. Won Seok then volunteers himself to go check on the pastor at his house. Later on, Won Seok drives over to the pastor's house in the snow, and he gets up to the door, but it was already open, which he finds suspicious. Inside, the TV was talking about the tidal flats and Won Seok walks in, calling for Pastor Kwan. The pastor was sitting on the couch, staring at the TV and whispering back the words he hears from it. He was covered in blood and didn't seem to be acting normal, and Won Seok calls for him but the pastor didn't respond, but something else caught his attention. He sees a trail of blood coming from another room. He slowly goes toward it and finds the pastor's wife, brutally murdered, in a bloody state on the floor. When he pulls out his gun to arrest the pastor, the parasite already knows his action and knocks one Seok down to the ground. He was terrified by what he saw, and even more when the parasite tells him that they were here to eat humans. But then instead of killing him, the parasite offers one Seok a proposal, but he had no chance but to accept it or he will die. Back in the present, Won Seok was with Cho Min, who was controlled by the same parasite. And they've set up a press conference with lots of reporters, waiting on news about the alien parasites that have shown up out of nowhere. He gives everyone a rundown of the current state of their operation, and he mentions that they've almost gotten rid of all the parasites in their region. Even though some might still be around, he tells them that the festival can still proceed. He then shows pictures of Su In and Kyung Hee, giving information to the public to look for them as they are known parasites. Kang Woo was watching the press conference as he buys some food, and Su In was also watching it on her phone in the car when Kang Woo came in. He thought that the Chul Min and Won Seok were trying to use the festival as a distraction to take control of the mayor's body. They then get a call from Kyung Hee who wants to meet, and Kang Woo was mad that she even called let alone wanted to meet her. Su In then takes the phone from him and agrees to meet with her in the park, and he hated the idea but had no choice but to go with her. Back at the station, Jun Kwang was suspicious about the whole thing and confronts Chul Min about why he changed his mind on trying to protect Su In, revealing that she knows about him hiding evidence connected to Su In. As they walk away, Chol Min and Won Seok plan to get Ju Kwang out of the picture. By the way guys, in case you missed it, please watch the previous video from the playlist in the channel to catch up on what's happening before this, and make sure to subscribe so we can update you on more shows and movies just like this one. And now, back to the video. At the park, Su In and Kang Wu were walking around as they wait for Kang He to show up. Kang Wu was worried about the safety of the people if Heidi and Kang He actually start fighting in the middle of the park. But Heidi appears and tells him that there's no need to worry, and she also adds that he might stay behind because his thirst for revenge makes him a big liability and he might ruin the whole meeting. Heidi finds Kang He and asks why she called for the meeting, as they were talking about how to get to him and that he is clearly setting up a trap for them by revealing their identities on the news, Kang Wu has his knife ready to attack Kang He. Kang He was intrigued by what an organization can do, putting together individuals to create an entity stronger than anything else is fascinating to her. She wants Heidi to help her kill Chol Min, but even though Su In wanted that, Heidi doesn't agree because it goes against their principle of survival. And just as they were about to fight, Kang Wu comes running to attack Kang He, but she already sees him and wraps up his neck with one of her tentacles. She gets the knife out of his hand, but she doesn't kill him, and instead lets him go because she understands what he feels now. Kang He then tells them that the only way to ensure the survival of everyone is to band together and form an alliance of sorts. Kang Wu still doesn't trust her, but tells her that Chou Min's parasites was planning to take over the mayor. 
Later on, the preparations were going on for the big festival, and everyone was helping and they all seemed to be enjoying themselves as they returned to somewhat of a normal life after the crazy events in their town. At the station, Jun Quang gets a call from the lab about the test that she asked for, and she sees on the screen the different scars from different bodies. The wound found on the first hunting dog looks like another wound the lab found, and the lab tech tells her that these wounds can be caused by the parasite and also by a specific type of knife. She then puts it all together, and this was a trick by someone to lead them into the wrong direction, and she then tells the tech guy to keep this information private when she gets a call. She quickly enters the control room and General Kim and instructs her to lead the Grey team to inspect for parasites in a location distant from the festival. In the meantime, Detective Chul Min and his police team will stay in the city to monitor and ensure the public's safety during the music festival. While heading to the site, Jun Quang gets another call from Su In, and Su In discloses that Chol Min's actual plan is to contaminate the mayor during the festival. Upon hearing this, Jun Quang instructs her to drive and make a U-turn, and her whole team follows her. While Su In and Kang He stay in the car to avoid being detected by the parasite, Kong Wu sneaks into the festival. He sees the exact moment when Chol Min assaults the mayor's security guards, and at that moment, the Grey team reaches the festival, and Jun Quang directs her agents to safeguard the mayor while she pursues Su In. To allow Kang He to execute her plan, Su In remains behind to divert the agent and succeeds in knocking her out. However, instead of eliminating the woman, the mutant flees and Jun Quang then realizes that she's different from the rest of her kind. As the parasite was on the verge of taking out the mayor, Kang He shows up and confronts it. While she tries to defeat her foe, Kang Wu was busy trying to protect the mayor and get rid of Wong Siok. Suddenly, the alien that was inside the detective infects Kang He's body and starts to destroy her from within. To stop Kang Wu and the mayor from being taken out by it, she pushes them away and tells them to run. After seeing the parasite and his older sister's body destroyed, Kang Wu rises and escorts the mayor to a safe place. Since the alien needs a human host to survive, it tears off Won Sook's head and embeds itself inside the body. The creature then resumes its plan and pressures the mayor, and just as it was about to infect a new host, Su In shows up and attacks it. During the fight, the parasite tells Kang Wu to escape with the mayor and tries to divert the enemy. After transferring the mayor to a police squad, Kang Wu comes back to assist his friend in defeating the enemy parasite which has let go of a part of its body to ensure its survival if Su In eliminates it. During the confrontation, Choi shows up and was about to be hit by a fragment of the parasite when Su In uses his tentacle to shield her. The woman then takes out Won Siok with her weapon, and at this point, Kang Wu shows up and hurries to aid his friend, who falls after the fight. They were then encircled by the Grey team and Jun Quang and instructs her men to transport them to the hospital. After putting her life on the line to safeguard the mayor, Su In earns Jun Quang's trust and manages to return to her normal human life. She was at the supermarket doing her job when Kang Wu pays her a visit. Kang Wu and Su In establish a connection after all they've endured, and we fast forward to a later time with them and it's evident that he sees her as similar to Kang He, considering he cared for his sister for such a long time. As they stroll together, Kang Wu shares that he's recently become part of a new group specifically He's joined the Grey team with Jun Quang. Given his military history with the Marines, it's logical that he would use this as a means to restore order in his life. As they stand side by side, Kang Wu presents a note that Heidi had pinned for her, and she wished for him to convey it to Su In and read it to her on her behalf, but he was unable to complete the letter. Just before his departure, Kang Wu mentions that there's a place for her on the team if she desires, and Su In peruses the remainder of the letter privately, where Heidi had expressed to her that whether she appreciates it or not, she's not solitary. As the show ends, back at the station, Jun Quang was informed of an investigative journalist who's supposed to be the top expert on everything related to parasites. He was here with some important information, and Jun Quang thinks he might just be another crazy person looking for attention as she walks in to meet him. She introduces herself, and with a stern face, 
asks who he is, and that's when it's revealed that he is the famous Shinichi Izumi. And this concludes the first season. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel, and also leave me a comment below with suggestions on what movie or series we should recap next.